Hi, and welcome back to the Sure UK whiteboard sessions. Uh, a few weeks ago, you may recall, we did a session on what's happening to the UHF bands, and this covered a lot about the ongoing uh, spectrum auctions and how this affects the PMSE sector. And in this video, I had mentioned about European plans uh, about further spectrum auctions, in particular ones that affect the so-called 700 megahertz band. So in this next section, uh, I actually want to cover some of these in further detail because there were some major announcements just made uh, in the past weeks, right before Christmas. So hopefully this video brings you up to date on the current spectrum situation. So the end of November saw the end of the World Radio Conference 2015, um, where a lot of the regulators, in fact all of them from around the planet, congregate uh, and discuss what to do with Spectrum and who gets rights and licenses for this. And one of the key subjects at the most recent conference was the allocation of the 700 megahertz band uh, for mobile services. But um, before we jump into that, it's probably worthwhile me just giving you just a quick recap on what's happening to the, the so-called UHF bands in, uh, in general. So as we mentioned in the, uh, in the previous video, PMSC or Program Making and Special Events have had access to 470 to 862 megahertz in the past. The back end of 2012 saw 790 megahertz and up auctioned away to next generation 4G services. And by default, this took away a fair amount of spectrum and left users of radio microphones with less spectrum to operate in. And of course, this is an issue because over the last 10 years, we've only seen the usage of radio microphones and in-ear monitors increase in productions and theaters, as we've mentioned countless times. So this clearance only made coordination and the operation of radio microphones a little bit more difficult. So. At the recent World Radio Conference, uh, the discussion was what to do with a further block of UHF spectrum. And specifically, we're talking about 694 megahertz and up. And the World Radio Conference uh, came to the decision that this spectrum would also be cleared and joined up for further 4G services. Now, um, you know, the, the date for this is still somewhat unclear because what needs to happen in this process is any existing television or digital television that exists in this block needs to be repurposed into these lower uh, remaining UHF bands or specifically 470 to 694. The time scale of this, as Ofcom has put it, would be by the end of 2022, um, and that's the latest scenario, or possibly as early as 2019. Um, and now I think we should probably work on this 2019 date rather than the later one and start making plans for how we might be able to continue doing shows and using probably an ever increasing number of radio microphones. So the prospect that we're facing is increasing use of radio microphones but decreasing available spectrum to put these into. So we'll have, you know, take London for an example. You'll have your DTV channels sitting here, Crystal Palace. So this remaining white space that's left to us, I'm obviously just drawing it theoretically in here. This is where we need to fit our radio microphone channels. Uh, and previously, we had roughly 400 megahertz of spectrum. Um, and you know, starting possibly as early as 2019, we're gonna be left with only about 200 megahertz of spectrum. Um, and this, I think, is critical for all of us to understand. Um, it will make operating radio microphones more difficult. Um, what do we need to be mindful of? Uh, we need to be better at coordination. We need to use better systems. You might want to check a few of our videos out on digital radio microphones uh, and what they bring to the table in terms of uh, spectral efficiency uh, and some of the other solutions that we also offer. Um, and I think that really covers the subject for today, somewhat short, but we'll look at um, a further application of UHF bands in the coming weeks called white space devices. Hopefully that video is very useful to you. Um, please join us for more uh, sessions on the Shure UK whiteboard sessions. Thank you very much.